Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. The boys are having a little bit of dinner here and I am going to take you into my kitchen and give you a little tour of how I decided to decorate it for summer. Nothing crazy, just a few a small updates. But I also wanted to share with you some new cookware that I recently got. The brand Caraway asked if I would be interested in reviewing their cookware and I jumped at the offer because guys, I'm in need of some new cookware. Mine has seen better days. And I heard about this company before. Um, I really like the type of cookware that they have. It is 100% non-toxic ceramic coated cookware, which is a safer alternative to like traditional non-stick cookware because it doesn't give off any type of toxins it really is like clean eating and it is an investment it's for your kitchen and health though and i feel like it is worth it for the peace of mind knowing that you are eating cleaner and the box itself you know just right away i was super impressed with the packaging and the marketing on this it's very sleek there's really nice cute little messages all over the box um this cookware comes in i believe five or six different colors and i went with like a gray and it matches the box perfectly so i'm excited to see what's inside now in this cookware set, there are four different pieces. Uh, they're packaged beautifully. I love how they're all just kind of organized nicely in here. And it also comes with some lids and some organizers. So I'm going to get all of this stuff out of the package and we're gonna talk about what's inside. Oh my God, guys, these are beautiful. I pulled them all out and I have them here on my countertop. You get four different things. You get a saucepan, two different size frying pans, and then like a bigger pot to do like your pastas and different things like that. And then they also come with these organizers. There are four different ones and they're magnetic and you can arrange them however you want. They all stick together and then your pots and pans just stick inside of them so nicely and keep them all organized. And this would be perfect to stick underneath like in your cabinets but unfortunately I live in an older home and I still have really old cabinets and they're all like kind of on the smaller side so it's hard to fit things in the way I would like them to so another way of doing it is just putting them right on top of your countertop then this other organizer that the lids came in I would have normally liked to stick it down here again on one of these so that it would be lower but my food cabinets are the bigger of the different doors that I have so I decided to put it up here. Um, they come with these sticky hooks that are really really strong adhesive and these lids are beautiful by the way. They're very sleek. Uh, they have little holes in them for venting when you're cooking and all three of them just fit so nicely into this organizer and you can just close your cabinet and no one even know they were there and that way you have less things like to be stacking and putting on the inside of your uh, cabinets. So I decided tonight I'm going to cook a little pasta and meat sauce and give these cookware a try and just see what I think. First impressions. They are beautiful and non-stick, just like they claim to be. Um, browning some hamburger, cooking some sauce, and boiling some water in the back. And one thing to know when using these is you definitely should use like wooden or plastic spoons, nothing metal, so you don't scratch them. And you should also cook on low to medium heat because they're ceramic. They hold heat way better than like your traditional cookware. So you don't want to burn them or overdo it. So you can keep them on medium and it'll have the same effect that it would if you had your burners on high. So I got my meat done quick, uh, browned really nicely. And I have it mixed in here with my sauce now. Again, using my wooden spoon and I'm almost done and excited to eat some dinner. So here it is, here's my pasta. And I will say, I don't know, but I think my food tastes better using these pots and pans. I think the hamburger just has a better taste. 
And um, washing them, same thing, just use like something that's gonna be, you know, not harsh or abrasive, just like a nice washcloth or a sponge. And they're cleaning beautifully. I'm just using some soap and water and I'm gonna like test it out and make sure that there's like no scratches or anything. But from what I can tell, the food is just like gliding off of these. There you have it. Absolutely beautiful. Looks just like brand new after using it and washing it. So if you guys are interested in getting some of this cookware for yourself, Caraway is offering my subscribers 10% off their purchase from now until July 1st. All you have to do is click on the link down in the description box below. It will take you right to their site and get you that discount and I guarantee you will not be disappointed. And now on to the kitchen tour. So like I said, if you're familiar with my channel and my kitchen, I pretty much leave it kind of the same all year round. I just do a little bit of seasonal changes. First thing you'll notice, I added some bee spatulas to my utensil jar can whatever you want to call it <laughs> again they're my new pots my keurig i got this cute turtle um succulent planter over the weekend at a festival i thought he was too cute so i brought him home to add to my windowsill i have a watermelon soap for summer although i'm on the hunt for something like bee themed if i could ever find one like a shape of like a honey comb or a beehive I would be all about that. I just have my faux plants up in the window and a bee towel on my mini ladder there from Kirkland's and then I have a bee candle. I believe I got that at Tractor Supply last year. I love that. And then my KitchenAid mixer and microwave of course are in the same place that they always are. And to make room for the cookware, I had to move my bread box over here, which I'm totally fine with because I actually think it brings a little bit more turquoise over to this side of the room. Um, I changed out my sign on this fence to this ice cold lemonade for sale because nothing says summer like lemonade. And on this kind of chicken cage shelf, I just have some everyday items. I pulled some things that I had up in storage. And I added this B sign to the top of my bread box. This I got at Hobby Lobby last year. They probably have it again this year, I would imagine. This butterfly sign I actually made. I took an old sign and painted over it and then drew the butterflies. And then over on my door, I just took the uh, bottom basket and filled it up with some different bee towels that I have. And then pretty much just left the rest of it the same. I just, you know, switched out the greenery. The top has my old rusty muffin pans and my rolling pins. Moving on over to my refrigerator. I just have another bee towel hanging down here on the freezer door. And then I have a nice arrangement of magnets for summer. The bee one I got at Hobby Lobby and the ones that have the plants I made using um, these little magnetic pots that the Dollar Tree had a few years ago. This side of the room is pretty much the same with the exception of the greenery and flowers here that are on my scale. This is really cool. I found this at a local shop last year, but the bottom just has a base like this and it sits flat. That way you can just stick it inside of things and it fits perfectly on top of the scale. This shelf just have a little collection of all kinds of old things and baskets glass bottles, leave all that the same as well as the top of my cabinets and that shelf over there. Um, over here, I just added a couple different things. Um, 
I of course added some new towels onto my stove door, one with bees and then the other one has like a yellow just to bring that pop of color in here. And I tie those with jute twine if you're wondering, that way they don't fall off my stove when I walk by. And on top of my stove slash noodle board, I have my Margaritaville mixer out. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of these or have had one, but they're absolutely amazing for making frozen drinks in the summertime, especially my favorite margaritas. I got that on QVC a few years ago. And then I recently picked up these Margaritaville why am I saying Margaritaville? Margarita glasses. Um, they were from Walmart, exact color of my kitchen. So I just kind of have those sitting there so I can make some drinks when company comes over. Definitely get my use out of that in the summertime. And then on here, on my kitchen island, I have this runner. I don't remember where I got the burlap runner itself, probably a local shop, but I hand painted all of the bees and the bee skep on there. I have them on both ends. And then I have a cookie jar and a candy jar. And then on my tiered tray that I keep in the middle here, I left pretty much the same with some basic things. I just added this bee skep candle in my little cloche there. And the felt dog I got from Amazon. It is the Primitives by Kathy Brand. And that is pretty much it. I mean, like I said, just some extra summer touches to just my basic things that I keep in my kitchen. Wanted to share with you how I kind of, you know, brought the bees in here, didn't go overboard, but just so it kind of flowed from my living room to my dining room and then into the kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and you got some inspiration or some ideas for decorating your kitchen for summer. My boys, as always, are being camera hogs and wanted to say hello. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you love bee decor. And again, thank you, Caraway, for sponsoring this video. If, again, if you guys are interested in getting some of that beautiful ceramic nonstick cookware, click on the link down in the description box. Until the next one, I will see you guys then.